Today we gather in honor of the brave service and noble undertaking here at one of the places where the soul of the airborne resides. 79 years ago, 23,000 paratroopers arrived by both parachute and glider in Normandy, France. They joined the occupied French to fight against tyranny and aggression. Their task was simple, jump behind enemy lines, sow confusion, and seize key terrain and infrastructure. General Gavin once said, show me a man who would jump out of an airplane and I will show you a man who can fight. What does it mean to be a paratrooper? What makes them different than other soldiers? The fact is, becoming a paratrooper is a calling. It's a mindset and it's a desire to do something extraordinary. The paratrooper has not changed since the first jump in the test platoon in 1940. And whether you arrive today by parachute or by air land, as the gliders did, from infantry to logistics, the airborne soldier is first and always will be a paratrooper and a rifleman. We will always pay tribute by continuing the legacy that they've set forth. Our future is bright because of their unique courage and the bravery of the men and women that volunteer today that stand in the breach between light and darkness. It's who we are, it's the essence of what we do, and it's what defined us. We are the 82nd Airborne Division, we are paratroopers, and we're your paratroopers. God bless you, guns and leaders to the front, airborne all the way.